In this video, we're going to make histograms for a group of variables. We have a list of salary, age, marital status, and gender. Making histograms for salary and age is different than marital status and gender because of different data types. Salary and age are numerical and marital status and gender are categorical. These are different in Excel. So we start with salary. We can select the entire column, salary, insert from the group of charts in Excel 2016, we have histogram. And this histogram is automatically divided into a number of groups. We have options to change these groups and the format of the histogram. By double-clicking the area in the chart, we open Format Chart Area. Well, this formatting tool is sensitive to the area of the chart we select. The horizontal axis area and the tools will be different and will work on horizontal axis. If I click on Access Options and expand them, we can see that uh, bins, which is the groups of numbers, are divided automatically you know, with the width of 11,000 and the number of bins is 7. We have options to change these numbers, for example, make it 10,000 and the number of groups will be adjusted. We can also change the number of bins from 8 to 10 or any other number. Back to 7. We can change the value of overflow bin and underflow bin to extremes or format thick marks and numbers but we don't have a full control on the bins except that we can exclude part of the data from the histogram. There's a different way of creating histogram in Excel. Using Data Analysis Tool Pack under Data tab, we need to install this add-in first. Before creating the histogram, we need to know what's the range of the data so that we can divide the entire area between a number of bins that we decide how many we will need. The first step, we want to know what's the maximum and minimum of the data. So we use max function we get the maximum number and then minimum. So the data is between these two extreme values. So if we decide to divide the entire area into nine bins. So we start the bin from zero. We create one bin for any number less than the first value we have around 20,000. Then we can start from 20,000 with increments of 10,000. up to 90,000 and then Excel histogram will create one additional bin for numbers beyond 90,000. Now we go to data, data analysis, and there's a histogram tool. We can get the input range, salary, including the header, we can select the bin range, make sure labels is checked because we selected the header here, and then output range, any point you want, 
I don't need the chart output. And this chart, we can see there's no number below 20,000. And then we've got count of observations in each one of those bins between 20 and 30,000, 30 and 40,000, 40 to 50,000, and so on. And then there's one bin for numbers beyond 90,000. These are the count of observations in each one of those bins. Well, the advantage of this method is that we have full control on uh, the range of the bins from the beginning, but then it is less flexible after creating the histogram. We don't have all those options for changing the number of groups after creating the histogram. You can see the number of options available are limited comparing to the chart tool. Now histogram for categorical data. First we clear the area. and try two different tools we use for numerical data and marital status insert a histogram as you can see Excel cannot separate different categories if you're going to use the histogram tool then we need to determine the bin range. So the bin range for marital status, we need to find it out. Well, this is a short list, we can look it up. But for a long list, we can always use the filter under home. We can see there are four different levels for this variable. Well, marital status is the header. And these four different levels will be the bin. Now that we have the bin, we can't still use the histogram tool. The histogram tool in Excel works with numerical data only. I will show this for you. Histogram will select the input range for marital status. select bin range we need chart output and click OK well we got a message input range contains non-numeric data so we need a different approach for this find out how many people are married, divorced, single, or widowed, we need to count them. So conditional count, count if, we select the entire range. And by pressing F4, I'm making an absolute reference so that I can copy this formula. So the first argument range, second argument criteria. The criteria, I can simply reference the other cell. And that's a relative reference. And by copying this formula, we can see how many people are counted as any of these levels of the category. After having the count, we can select the entire range, including the headers, and then insert a column chart. For users of older versions of MacBook who don't have the data analysis tool pack, for numerical data also, um, we can count different levels. 
something similar to what we did here, but then we need to do that in two steps. I'm querying this area to show this. Well, for the first step, we create the bin range. Start from zero again, and then next step 20,000 increments of 10,000. Up to 90,000. And then we use a conditional count. But this conditional count will give us a cumulative count. Count F, the entire range of salary, is an absolute reference. As criteria, count the number of observations that are greater than or equal to this number. Here we can type the number and since we are using a non-numerical character, we need to enclose it in double quotes in a formula. Rather than um, typing a number individually, we can use concatenation character in Excel and reference the cell. A relative reference. So that we can copy this down. Now the difference of consecutive bins will determine the number of observations in each bin. So the difference of these two, obviously there is no observation between 0 and 20,000. Copying this formula, we can calculate the number of observations in each group. For example, here you can see the difference of these two numbers or the observations in the range of 40,000. And this will be the count. And by selecting this area and inserting a column chart, we have a column chart for these two data series, cumulative count and count. We don't need both. We need to remove cumulative count. So we go to once the um, chart is selected, chart tools can go to select data and uncheck cumulative count. Click OK it will go away. This is a histogram similar to what we had by using the data analysis tool bank. 